Welcome everyone. Today we'll talk about disaster recovery in this video. So what happens post disaster is basically the scenario that we can plan for. Now what is disaster recovery planning or DRP as such? It is the process of regaining access to the data, to the hardware, to the software, to the usual way of life that is that was being in practice resume the critical business operation after probably any disaster be it a natural kind or a man-made a disaster recovery plan should include everything everything which might be for the unexpected loss for life for property that is not absolutely was not even thought about it we can also think about in the modern world about the data protection the data that has been lost DRP is a part of a large process called BCP and business continuity planning as the case might be. So let us talk about disaster recovery planning and business continuity planning or oh, what exactly goes around here. Remember business continuity planning can also akin to the life continuity planning, the life that we were leading pre-disaster and the life we are leading post disaster can it be one and the same so it's a recovery it's a process wherein you have to come back to the square number one back back to the normal process after any disaster per se a disaster may be like an earthquake a natural disaster maybe a man-made like a terrorist attack it can be anything as big as catastrophic as either of the way or even a small thing like let's say there's something there's a loss of life loss of property or loss of business because of some kind of malfunctioning given our uh, understanding that we are essentially an optimistic species right so we would love to have a business back to square one and probably make uh, make utilize certain recovery plans so that our life becomes normal after any disaster so bcp or business continuity planning suggests a complete overhauling approach of making sure that life comes to normalcy often the term let's say the business continuity planning or disaster recovery plan are one and the same that we come goes around it remember recovery is all that we want to go to the normalcy back to normalcy at any rate disaster recovery and business continuity will keep us functioning at uh, the existing practice despite the disaster despite the fact that there was a big hindrance to the normalcy of a life that we were carrying out but these are things that needs to be restored that we need to talk about it so the what does disaster recovery plan include allow me to give it to you so it might include how we used to communicate with one another how we used to transport from one place to another and how our life was being there before the disaster happened before the earthquake happened before the tsunami happened before the terrorist attack happened before a covid 19 happened so these are disasters that was waiting for uh, waiting and it happened in a in a recent future recent past if i may say so but that is what disaster is all about it we never planned it out but we need to plan post disaster post that catastrophic effect what can be done and how can we improve ourselves so we need to understand everything in details in minute details about the size probably the scope probably how it had impacted and how long will it take us to come back to normalcy let me give you a, a, a example for let's say um, uh, any global manufacturing company any manufacturing company there is something which went wrong with your uh, mainframe as a data backup for within four to six days you know what happened everything goes wrong so what do we do around it how do we manage the data flow how do we manage to communicate because everything goes around so we can have a public exchange book 
uh, with 3,000 telephone with, within two days, probably utilize the mobile phone, utilize the landline, utilize uh, PBX, for and that is public booth exchange. If we go, go, around, go around it, probably ensure that the company is not able to manage the scenario, probably ensure that company's image has not been hampered and let us try to normalize the operation. And set up temporary call center. Assure the general public, assure the customer, assure the climate that the company has just undergone a setback. That doesn't mean the company is going to close down or business is going to wind up. So essentially, what are the events that can be classified as disaster? And how do we plan for the recovery? So they might be natural disasters, let's say tsunami, let's say earthquake. They can be fire, widespread fire, and it need not be forest fire. It can be a fire in a building, in a high-rise building. Power failure for one reason or the other reason, the power grid might not might not function. Yes, twin, uh, uh, terrorist attack is something which is always visible. It is there in the headline. Organized or deliberate disruption. Now this can be done by your co your competitors. Theft stealing one of the major reasons for disaster systems or equipment failures human error viruses of computers and testing things after business impact and risk how do we go around it now we need to understand if the business has failed did it fail miserably or that there was a setback the purpose of this assessment is to understand the relative contribution to the larger organization in terms of monetary, in terms of functional, in terms of reputational, in terms of branding. The greater the potential impact, the more money should a company be spending upon it, the more firefighting it has to do to restore normalcy. For instance, a stock trading company may decide to pay for completely redundant IT system that would allow it to immediately start processing trades at different location per se and that is what we should be talking about here. Now how do we go across with it? If we say so, develop a recovery strategy that is within a disaster recovery plan. Now what does the recovery plan consist of? How do we go, go across with it? We need to understand what is my time required to go for the recovery depending upon what is the impact that the recovery or the disaster has made on, on our services, on our uh, business operation, on our daily life. And just information system to make disaster recovery easier. This includes consolidating of servers, data, storage areas, and so on and so forth. Communication. Now, how do we communicate with one another before the disaster happened, was it mobile, was it fax, was it email? If there are in, any interruption on the communication methods, problems that has been associated because of the disaster, let us try to eliminate the problems. If not, let us find an alternative way to communicate. Remember, client, confidence of clients and customer is of primal importance. If there are certain back, uh, certain Problems with our finished product probably can we go for a recall backups. So we this can be taken care for using remote backup of a service, probably anything, a network connection, so on and so forth. Facilities having a hot hot site or a cold site for a large company. Remember, mobile recovery facilities are always available with the services or the supplier. Let us educate our employees that during disasters what are they expected to do yes they are expected to do so that there are no operations of the businesses are suffered that means probably working longer hours probably a little bit of a stressful hours a support system has to be placed in place so that it causes the minimum discomfort to the clients and the customers prepare them ahead to ensure that the work runs smoothly Business information backup should be stored in completely separate locations from the company. Testing the plans, provisions, direction, frequency of testing plans should be stimulated and mentioned around it. Allow me to elaborate the 10 disaster recovery plan that goes that should be there. 
first and foremost thing, can we always have a plan B? For every operation that we have, let's say there is a plan A or, or option A, can in case plan A or option A backfires, can we depend on our plan B? So yes, we should always have a plan B of a contingency plan that includes a succession plan for your CEOs also. Train backup employees to perform emergency tasks. The employees should be able to count to leave the emergency as always. Determine offsite crisis meeting places for top executive in case if there is certain unwarranted event happening, let's say the headquarters of your company might be under duress. Now, if that is the case, can we have meeting somewhere else? Can we have a virtual meeting? Can we have uh, alternative arrangements so that the operations of the companies are suffered minimal? Similarly, for a daily life, if we are if we are look, based out of a location, can we have an alternative location? Probably staying with your friends, families, and so on and so forth. Make sure that everyone, including all your staff, all your colleagues, all your team workers, are involved in the ex exercise that leads or happens during emergency, that leads or happens during disaster. Make these exercises as realistic as possible so that the employee's emotion we can be able to handle the situation. Practice crisis communication with employees, with customers, with the outside world. Intimate them, inform them, educate them, sensitize them about the situation. Invest in an alternative communication cases in terms of phone, phone networks. Form partnership with local environment, local community, local uh, service providers in terms of federal government, provincial government. In, um, for example, firefighting, police have working relationship, have a stimulating relationship with every community partners. The more integrated you are into a community, community, the better it will be for you to bounce back. Evaluate a company's performances during each of the tests each of the practice tests, each of the hazard tests, each of the tests that is being practiced in cases of disaster and try to take a learning outcomes of every exercises try to improve that uh, test outcomes in the subsequent fashion have takeaway learning should always be there test your continuity plan regularly to reveal and accommodate it changes technologies personal facilities are in constant flux at any company allow me to mention the mistakes before winding up this particular video first and foremost thing is what we do in a disaster is we don't plan for it we take that life for granted we uh, we are assuring ourselves that life is going to be only merrier happier and smoother in days to come which might not be the case so please try to identify your critical system critical component backup plans do you have a detailed plan for them for the day of disaster everybody thinks that they know what they have in a network but believe me or not not everybody is aware of the intricacies of the network intricacies of the daily life so how are they configured can we have a manual override for every automatic system can we have an alternative plans for every operational plans or executionable plan what version of software or operating system are we working around now these are very important next is all about your alternatives have we actually worked upon the alternatives let's say we are working on option a and carrying on with our life our businesses and everything goes smooth nobody thinks about option b so option a happens and there's a disaster since you have not thought of op op uh, option B, you are not able to make appropriate recovery. But let us uh, reverse the situation. We are working in option A and uh, we have been a bit intelligent, bit sensitized. So we have already thought of option B. We have already thought of option and we carry on with our work. But then disaster struck, strikes. What happens? We try to tend to up shift to option b but 
during the shift we come to know or come to uh, we are become aware that option B is not all that practical why because it was never implemented during the good days so we never understood we just planned for it we just thought for it so what am i trying to tell do not only plan for option b plus perhaps have a dry run ensure that your operate operations of your business ensure that your life goes with an option b and what are the difficulties that you might be facing so failure to bring business into planning and testing your recovery plan testing your recovery plan is very important in a business plan in a business continuity support from the top managers quite the largest problems are here because the top people do not uh, support you do not extend their requirement so this demonstration of the level of full recovery is required not conducting for a business impact analysis and addressing all the gaps in your recovery model per se the last thing not building adequate recovery plans outlining your recovery time objectives critical system application vital documents needed by your businesses and business function by building plans for operational fact operational activities now this is what we need to go around it for every kind of disaster can we have minute recovery plans which stays budget which stays facilities which states the time that is required now these are things that needs to be taken into consideration not having a proper funding will allow no disaster recovery plan in full spirit in execution of full spirit so have proper allocation of funding around with it so exactly speaking disaster strikes and we should have an option b the recovery plan we should not only have a recovery plan but probably we should always dry run our recovery plan we should train our employees we should ensure that the recovery plan is smooth we should practice it out and that will only lead for a much efficient way of disaster management and disaster mitigation if not mitigation at least the recovery will be quick and will have the least possible impact on the business on a daily life with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video